Hum. Mm, new jam. Hello and welcome back to Dredge. Today, I will check out what my objectives are. Because I think this is smart. So I have to search for Relic. Find the ring and Stellar Basin. There is also... There's a few things actually, now I think about it. Uh... What is it? Have you seen season? What do you do? No, 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 that's not it. I thought someone could tell me about uh, Blackstone Isle. Did I never ask about this? Hmm. hmm. I don't know a great deal. It technically fall under the jurisdiction of Little Mauro, I believe. It was sold to a private owner some 20 years ago. They must have had a special arrangement, such as sale is quite un such a sale is quite uncommon. Very complicated paperwork involved, you see. I've not met the owner. I suspect they don't live around here. The island seemed quite in uninhabited. Is there another area? No, I'm good. Do you know shipwrecks? Strange occurrence will happen last? No. Because I remember... I remember... I remember... You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I could go for the the shipwreck thing, or whatever it's called, but I have another idea. So the merchant that we met near uh, Ing Ingwell, England, Ing Ing or something, back back over this away, did tell us something that she wanted to take pictures of her travel, and we know that there was a. A, a photographer somewhere around here. I don't remember what the photographer told me though. Hmm, mysterious indeed. But I know what I'm gonna do. Because there's a certain somebody somewhere that we have not seen in a hot minute, so I'm gonna go there. Steel points. This away! We helped the crafter move there. And we kinda never went back there to just talk to them. I also never explored those uh, islands over here. Maybe I'm gonna do that. Yeah, let's let's explore a little bit. Let's not be in too much of a hurry to go forward, shall we? Builder? Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. Okay, cool. Well, uh, bye. I mean, there's a bunch of good stuff here. So, yeah. Let's get them. Why not, right? Ah, so much inventory space. I love it. You know, I was kind of thinking to myself, I wish there was a way I could, uh, I could get uh, research points. But there is a way for me to get research points. Now I think about it, I can just buy them off of uh, of the merchant near uh, Ingwell. The relaxed mind has been read. What does it do? Do I go less crazy? The relaxed mind. Uh, biggest load of rubbish you Yeah, I know what you are. Ah, darn it! Huh. I hurt myself. Anyway, the relaxed mind. The biggest load of rubbish I've ever read. It goes on and on about breathing, exercise, and controlling your heart rate. As if this could help. Plus 10% resilience to panic. That seems pretty good, actually. Uh, hop, 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 hop. A bit of wood. Oh, sweet. You can stay here. 
Although I might regret not having more explosive on hand, so you come with me. So let's do this. Let's get the hell out of here. Kinda wish I could fix my bow here, but no can't do. And I am moving horrendously slow, so back we go and I'm gonna fix my ship. This is so slow, it's almost insultingly slow, one might say. Alright, witchcraft, do your thing. Make me go fast, please. One thing that should have never broken down has broken down it, and this is sad. It is just, just sad. Right. How much are those oceanic creatures worth? They're worth quite a bit of money, as it turns out. Almost a hundred each. Well then! Well then! Held. I can't fit two of these in there. And yeah, I'm. I guess I could buy the better lights, probably, but eh, I don't care hard enough. All right, now I'm a speedy boy. Speed. specifically shiny. I don't care. I'm gonna go exploring and exploring I will do. One strong wooden hull lay broken against the shoreline. The stern is completely beached. Try to get inside the stern. You pull a bit closer and manage to climb into the back of the wreck. You look around and I found some Good, good, good. Really good. Really, really good. Alright. Exploration is indubitably rewarded. Well then. Wait a minute. SOS. Castaway? I'm saved! Saved! Oh, you're a sight for, for these sore eyes. What happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must have been some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would come to find me, but by now. But yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? No. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyway. Can you get me to Low Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they're ne- When they next- When they next stop by. Ooh. Yes, I'll take you to Low Marrow, no problem. Yeah, you can even- I know, it's set sideways here. The castaway climbs the board. Alright, well, I found a castaway, cool. I'm gonna put this shark next to the castaway and see how he feels about this. Do you feel okay about a shark? Is that, is that good? Oh, wait, wait, there it is. Alright. 
to Little Marrow we go. Yeah, I should... It's a thing I really have not been doing much in this game, is just exploring around. I really haven't been doing much of that, did I? Ah, that's greater marrow, my bad. I stopped at the wrong spot. Oh, and I can also research things. I can't get that yet. Why is that? It's not connected to anything, so... I don't know. I kind of want engines though. The, the being able to move really, really fast is a, is just a must, you know. So I and so I have decided. All right, so that's Greta Marrow, and I'm assuming Little Marrow is on the other side. No. This little marrow. Sure is. The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who has just been saved, he seemed gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine, and I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore. For me, at least, but perhaps it'll be worth something for you. He removes a signet ring from his left hand and presents it into yours. It's emblazoned with a symbol of a captain's wheel. A sheep wheel sigil is emblazoned proudly on this ring. Such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it. Alright. On to the better horizon. Friends, farewell. Okay, pursuit resolved. I did it. So he lives here now, I guess? I don't know. So does this signet ring actually does something for me? Or does it just exist as a, as a thing I can sell? Ooh, a trophy. Yeah, the terrifying one. Alright. Yeah, yeah, driving in darkness makes you go crazy. Alright. I sell everything. Let's upgrade our light. Why not? And I sell this. Yeah. yeah, I don't need these. I have a better version of those. All right. A dry dock, perhaps. I need a bunch of wood for that. I ain't got no wood up in here. I kind of do it. Well, one more and I got everything. Alright. Storage, like this. I guess they're really meant just for selling, huh? Probably. Well. Let's do a brisk nap and, uh. Sun's coming out of water like at the speed of sound, like Jesus, just whoosh. <laughs> Alright, traitor sir. 
Well then, it was worth quite a bit of money now, wasn't it? Alright. Let's go back to exploring. Faster. Let's go around this way. Now let's, let's also try not to hit anything or get hit by anything. That's also a good thing. Oh, those are black rock that are singing or swinging or whatever they are. They're vibrating, right? The stone hummed quietly, sending ripple through the air around it. Faint shape dancing upon its surface vanish before your eyes. Can focus on them. Place your hands on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Do I have to be in the middle of the night to do this? And do I have to be crazy for them to respond to me? Are those the secret sanity stone? I don't know. I'd like to know, but... I would need to be able to find them in the middle of the night, which is already asking a lot, I feel. Sure, I'll catch one of you, why not? Oh, oh, oh. So the castaway was right here. And the sauce sign is gone. And I'm gonna have enough wood to do the thing. And I have even more cargo space. Nice. Is it me or does my lights when I turn it on makes a different sound than it used to? Maybe I'm just imagining it. Perhaps I am. Perhaps I am indeed. Well, I mean, I'm really curious as to what that is. Do I go there? Where even is this? Is the devil's spine? Nah, I won't be tempted. Not yet, anyway. Uh, the crazy clouds. Get away from me. Another one. Oh, man. I don't like those crazy clouds. I feel like they can follow you way too easily. Get away from me. Another one again. Ah! They're trapping me, the bastards! Did I just dodge the tornado? Hell yeah. Oh, and now there's this thing over there that wants to eat my soul. Nothing is going my way. And landing. And nap. <laughs> Alright. I went around this place, and there ain't nothing here. None. It's a bit sad. I think my eel is gonna go bad. But I'm willing to let it go bad. Boat. A boat that isn't probably trying to kill me yet. Emphasis on yet. Hello, boat friend. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are sign of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. 
I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Lil Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep water. I've seen it. It hangs in the water. It's gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island's chain. I could deliver the package to Little Marrow for you. Yeah. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Address to the dock worker, Little Marrow. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. Well then. The courier push a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelched slightly as you take it in your hand. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen. I know this sounds crazy. Something, sometime I think I can hear the faintest of whisper coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods, don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Mm. Here, why don't you take this too? Again, an item emerged from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through and tud onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. All right. Oh, are those groves? Are those the famous grove I've heard so much about? Perhaps they are, perhaps they be. What is this, a broken monocle? All right. Well. There's some goodies I can grab around here, so that's good. And I'm also gonna have to figure out which direction is Little Marrow now. Once I'm done uh, looting, of course. Ooh, a thing. A shiny thing. Uh, wow. Someone had two monocle and he broke both of them. Alright. Oh, this one's going fast. How precious is this? It's a flag. I have a serpent flag. What would I want a serpent flag when I have a pirate flag? Alright. Spooky monster in the depths. I guess they don't like sunlight. Well. A little marrow, I suppose. I've been drifting a little bit when I uh, when I went there. Something's gurgling, and I don't like it. Hi. Right. Package delivery. How's they treating you? I've got a package here for you. Mm. A delivery, huh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurry off down the dock without another word to you. Or compensation. Well, isn't he a cool guy? Also, he's no longer an option. How? Why? Well, a uh, flag. Uh, do you want me to attach it now? No, I like my pirate flag. Hi. All right. What if I undock and come back in immediately? He's not back at all. Hmm. So something's happening with the dock worker. Hmm. 
mysterious. Very, very mysterious indeed. Alright. I got some big plans. Okay. Fishmonger, sir. Eat all my thing. Then... Dry dock, I think. I can do that one. Hop and hop. More cargo space. Look at me go. And then... Fixing the thing. And then going back and buying another one of those. Alright, and then nap. Well, it's full on sleep at this point, really, but, you know. Hop. And this. And we're dropping one here. And then... Dropping another one here. And then I'm gonna go around this very island that I'm in, because I have not done that. Ever, I think. Ah, there's even a more smaller island over this way. Look at that. So many things to see. So many places to explore. Oh, a sal a sallow sailfish. What? A sickly pallid color coats the skill of this normally sleek and shiny fish. Clouded eyes bel belied the disease spreading underneath. Okay, it also has pointy sharp teeth and, and stuff. That's, But I guess that's not concerning enough. Anything exciting around here? Like somebody doing something? Doesn't look like it. And those... Don't hunt quietly or a full thing. Coldstone does not respond to my touch. Well then. Well, well, well. Oh. Well, good thing I, could, I don't take damage when I hit those things. It would have been pretty bad if I actually did take damage from them. Alright. Whoa, this one thing is 360 bucks? Hell yeah. Alright, I have plenty of money now. I have more money than I know what to do with at this point. So, how about I head in the new direction? Oh, I forgot to do this. Getting over it with mind and body. I guess it's uh, another one of those... Uh, catch a snake mackerel. I have yet to find these. Feels like my, my thing here is pretty full, but there's still a bit of space here and there. Hmm. Map. Where am I going? Twisted Strand, Stella Basin. Stella Basin is the place I have to go. Alright. To the Stella Basin I go. Where was it? Uh, press the wrong one. Map. I have to go to my right. Okay. So this way. Yep. I think, right? Mm, yes. Yes, indeed. That is the way that be. Well then. To the Stellar Basin we go. bunch of things. I thought maybe I could explore the inside of this thing, but nope. No count, dude. Now, I'm still going in the right direction. I am. I have to go over there. 
That's cool. You know what? I'll explore those places another time. Right now, I should get to here. Because apparently there be a thing. Ooh, glowy fish. A thing over there. A thing over here. I don't think I should touch them though. Alright. Picking this up. Now. Oh, it's right here, the thing I'm looking for. No, don't touch me. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to touch those things. I have a sneaking suspicion that they will do damage to me. Alright. Is this the... Oh, generator and laboratory. Alright, research outposts. Well... The, laborat the laboratory is in ruin, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboard, I guess? You check the cupboard. Oh, research part. I'll take that. You empty the cupboard. Where do you want to look? Inspect the equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, Not safe. Safe. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not safe. Safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Where do you want to look? Look around the floor. You look around on the floor. There is crack in the base of the structure that grows to large gash as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these halls. You slowly reach your arm into one. Hey, nice. You pluck an item from a, from a gouge in the floor. Where do you want to look? I want to leave. Generate. All generators sputter and tickles over. That's it? Alright then. Engine. <gasps> I can get a new engine! Hell yes. Mm. Well, I was expecting people here, I gotta be honest. But, oh well, I guess I'm just gonna call it quits here. Let's just take a peek here. Everything's glowy and nice. Ooh, the thing. Well, it's about time for me to call it quits anyway, so I am gonna call it quits. So, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you could help me out by pressing all of the good buttons under this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And with all of that said, I bid you a glorious day, and I do hope to see you in the next episode of Dredge. Bye bye